Hello, welcome to Option Skills Plumbing Portfolio Building. The work produced in your portfolio must be concise, accurate and easy for the examiner to follow. The work must also meet all of the criteria for the qualification. It would be advantageous to follow this presentation with the documents shown. Apply safe working practices in building services engineering and install and maintain domestic plumbing and heating systems. You should already have a copy of both documents. If not, copies can be obtained from Option Skills. These two documents are important because they're where you record, sign off and cross-reference the work you have done. I have put together a portfolio in two parts. The presentations follow these documents and the learner evidence packs. You do not have to use these portfolios if you have your own, but you do have to cross-reference your work with the learner evidence packs. The portfolio and evidence packs I have forwarded to you have been cross-referenced for you. If you use your own portfolio, you must cross-reference it yourself and ensure you cover every part of the learner evidence pack. Failure to cross-reference all of your work accurately could result in it being rejected. We begin with the document Level 2 Apply Safe Working Practices in Building Services Engineering. Nice and simple start, complete your name and the centre name which is Option Skills. If you are completing the documents by hand please use black or blue ink and your writing needs to be legible and do not use a pencil. Within this document is a contents page. First on the contents list is section 1 with a code QBSE-04 Unit Introduction. This is the main code for the whole of this document as shown on the cover. The introduction explains the amount and type of evidence which can be used to prove your competence. This section explains what skills you have to demonstrate, like prepare and use access equipment in the workplace, or demonstrate personal health and safety precautions in the workplace. The next part tells you how to pass the unit. By completing practical tasks and gathering portfolio evidence of realistic work activities relevant to the tasks required by this unit. Performance assessment is basically the same as how do you pass except it tells you what areas you must cover. The areas to cover are section 2 BSC 204A, Section 3, BSC 204B, Section 4, BSC 204C and Section 5, BSC 204D. These are listed as outcomes in the paperwork which I will explain further in the presentation. Acceptable evidence types explains where the evidence must come from. This states a real working environment naturally occurring, not fabricated. The evidence will be authenticated by direct observation from a qualified assessor plus a list of other acceptable forms of evidence. It also states that the evidence by any source other than an assessor needs to be validated. It is your responsibility to prove beyond reasonable doubt that the evidence provided is authentic and yours. The first assessment is BSE 204A. This is the code for this practical assessment. The first part explains how to pass this part of the unit. It states that this assessment has to take place at a minimum of two different addresses which we will call jobs and on a minimum of two of the tasks. On these tasks you must provide evidence of, for example, selecting and using PPE 
or safely manually handling loads. What do I need? Tells us what we need to complete the task, like suitable PPE. How do I make a start? Is how you go about completing the tasks, such as check and confirm the safety of the work area. Prepare the work site including entry and exit routes and carry out the activity safely. And not to forget, complete the appropriate documentation for submission to your assessor. Direct observation requirements requires a direct observation from an assessor on at least two of the tasks at a property. We're now looking at BSC 204A, the practical assessment. Be able to demonstrate personal health and safety precautions in the workplace. There are three tasks to complete this assessment. Task 1.1, demonstrate the appropriate personal protective equipment is used throughout the work activity. Task 1.2 Ensure that health and safety precautions are in place. First aid provision and fire extinguisher provision. Task 1.3 Demonstrate safe manual handling techniques. We must remember that it states that this assessment has to take place at a minimum of two different addresses, jobs, and on a minimum of two of the tasks. And this task also requires a direct observation from an assessor on at least two of the tasks at a property. At this point we will take a look inside the plumbing portfolio, apply safe working practices. A portfolio starts with a contents list. The contents list provided matches this online portfolio. If you are using your own portfolio, you need to create your own contents list to match the work in your portfolio. The first part of the contents list is for the supervising engineer's credentials. Attach copies of your supervising plumber's qualifications and please get them to sign, date and add contact details. Every task follows the same format. As can be seen, tasks 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 match the tasks in the learner evidence pack. The portfolio on the left requires completing with how you achieved each task. There is also a box for a picture next to each text box. You are required to provide photographic evidence for each task. There may be occasions where you do not have the photographic evidence. This is fine as long as evidence is provided for most of the tasks. Once the evidence is gathered and recorded, this can then be tracked onto the document on the right. Remember that the assessment will have at least two of the above tasks signed off by an assessor and at least two signed off by a qualified engineer. At least one of the tasks will be signed off twice. Also remember the assessor will see work at one property and the engineer at another. Here's an example. If the assessor observes you doing tasks 1.1 and 1.3, write job 1 in the left hand direct observation boxes for tasks 1.1 and 1.3 as shown. Or maybe the assessor saw tasks 1.1 and 1.2 or 1.2 and 1.3. Remember this is a minimum. It may be that all three tasks are seen by an assessor. A qualified engineer needs to see you undertake at least two more tasks at another property. This must include the task not covered by your assessor. 
for example. The assessor has seen tasks 1.1 and 1.3. The qualified engineer will see 1.2 and either 1.1 or 1.3. On this occasion it's 1.3. Here the assessor has seen tasks 1.2 and 1.3. The qualified engineer will see 1.1 and either 1.2 or 1.3. On this occasion it's 1.3. And on this occasion the assessor has seen tasks 1.1 and 1.2. The qualified engineer will see 1.3 and either 1.1 or 1.2. On this occasion it's 1.1. A completed task part of the document may look something like this. Everything that has been observed by an assessor is job 1. Everything that is observed by an engineer is job 2. As can be seen at the top of the portfolio page the title is job 1. All of the tasks that relate to job 1, as seen by an assessor, should be completed in the portfolio. Example 1.1 and 1.3 relate to job 1. If you have completed all three tasks with an assessor, then job 1 will also be completed for task 1.2. In the portfolio, our second job recording sheets for the engineer supervised tasks. As you are aware you have to provide photographic evidence. This evidence has to be of good quality. Good photos will show you undertaking the task you are demonstrating like wearing PPE and a picture of you with a first aid kit and fire extinguisher or a photo of you picking an object up like a WC pan. You need to be recognisable in the picture, so your face must be showing. For example, the picture on the left could be anybody, whereas the picture on the right shows who is doing the work. The bad picture does not show the face, and also he is wearing his hard hat over a baseball cap. Incorrect use of a hard hat. The good picture shows a man in PPE with face visible, hard hat worn correctly and working. The bad picture shows a man working on the waste. If the task was working on cold water this would be unsuitable as it doesn't demonstrate installing cold water. However, it would be a good picture if you were demonstrating installing of the waste system. Follow the same process throughout the Safe Working Practices portfolio. On completion of this portfolio, all of the health and safety for your Plumbing Level 2 qualification will be complete. Please remember, if you are building your own portfolio, you must track all of the information yourself and ensure you have covered all of the criteria.